Hey everyone, uh, in this video I just want to do a quick uh, overview of uh, Quantstat's uh, Python library for uh, Quants. I'll put the link in the description, here's the link to the uh, GitHub page. Just wanted to share, this is a pretty cool uh, Python library, I believe it's created by the same person who did the Yahoo Finance uh, library. So let's go over some of the basic uh, features. So let's do the matplotlib inline, and then I'm going to import quant stats as QS. Okay, first we need to install quant stats. Pip install Quantstats okay, Let me zoom in a little bit 150% should be good Let me check if It's, it's in the frame Okay, now let's run this to import quant stats. Okay, let's use a ticker symbol Microsoft. And then we're gonna extend with quant stat, extend pandas. And then we're gonna download QS utils, download returns. I'm going to do the ticker and Okay, it's done. So, for example, uh, there are a lot of functions uh, we can do. Uh, one way to check um, the function is we can look through uh, this in the example also. F in QS not stats. It's not. And that will list all the available functions. Uh, sharp, skew, smart, sharp, sortino, tail ratio. So, for example, if you want to see the sharp, basically all you need to do is stop dot sharp. So here's the sharp ratio for uh, Microsoft. And for example, if we want to do, if we want to plot the performance, we can do qs.plots dot snapshot of the stock. True. Yeah, it's just throwing some warnings, but here's the portfolio summary. Okay, and if we also want to see the, the plots function, so this is how you can pull up all the available mm. plots. It's not equal to, so let's try some of them. We can do stop load plots yearly return okay. 
Oh, shit. US from here that we extended from the pendus should give you a yearly return and if we want to do a monthly same thing plots the returns of Microsoft from 1986 all the way to 2023 and what also also we can do QS or plots but just distribution of returns oh, actually we can need to define returns so let's say for example we want to try a new one apple and okay we need to import import yahoo finance yf and then we can do uh, apple let's say yf dot ticker the apl this is and then we do, let's do uh, five years this time to limit the data because history, let me go back to five years, otherwise, too much. Five year, and we want the closing prices, and we want the percent change, and then we can do a uh, plot start returns. And the returns. Ah, uh, here. This is the cumulative returns for five years for Apple. And let's do more examples. And the same, we want, can do the yearly returns for Apple. Cumulative returns. Well, it's uh, in a heat map format. Returns. Returns. Okay. I mean uh, the bar charts, so we can easily see um, the yearly returns, and uh, let's do monthly returns. See which months uh, Apple usually perform, how you know Apple perform on different months. I guess returns, returns. So based on past five years August August 2020 2022 December was well the 2019 so we can easily spot spot the the returns in the five uh, five years so oh, let's see what else we can do okay let's try a distribution so distribution of returns come on the plots there you go so here's the distribution of returns This is where time in the good companies is better than timing the markets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
here and we can also do drawdowns. So here are the drawdowns during uh, 2020, the COVID, 2023. So you get the idea, this is quite useful if you want to time the market, I guess, to buy the dip. This is a uh, pretty useful based on the uh, five years data.